What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and we're up to part 8 of the office building in Revit course. Part 8 of course means that we're up to 8 hours of content for this course and I've started this building like 8 weeks ago and I'm adding one hour each week. And the reason why it's taking so long is because, well, it's a complex, complex project. I'm showing you how to take an office building, a multi-story office building, and to take it from basically scratch, nothing, to complete project documentation within Revit. Now, the reason for this, the idea behind this course, is that I want to show you not only how to use each tool in Revit to complete the task, but also the whole workflow and how to solve all of the individual problems and um, maybe things that you have to figure out along the way, how to model some new families, and how to complete all of your project documentation and how everything is done within Revit. So that's the idea behind this course. Now, if you want to uh, get access to this course, check out my Patreon, first link in the description of this video. Uh, and once you go there, you can uh, just subscribe and there you can get access to this part 8 as well as all of the other parts and I have uh, a lot more courses there so all of these courses uh, are basically tackling all of these advanced uh, Revit topics and uh, and all, all, all of the basically the idea that having one hour to bring you or exp completely explain one advanced topic in Revit allows me to go really in depth and explain each detail. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into the project and let me show you what we're doing in this week's course. So I'm going to switch to my computer over here. Now, uh, this is the, uh, let me start here, okay. So this is the section uh, that we're working on. So uh, last time we've added a lot of detail elements like these hooks that are holding the ceiling in place, things like that. And now we're uh, doing annotation. So for annotation, I show you first how to add all of these uh, spot elevations. So these spot elevations out of the box in Revit, they're really ugly. So let me show you how that looks like. So if I go here to spot elevation, this is what that looks like. So it's really horrific. So it looks like this. It's a mess. Uh, I really don't like it. So I show you how to turn this family into something that looks like this. It's much cleaner and then you can reuse it all the time. And I show you how to solve a problem because these spot elevations can only be used on model elements here or on some hosted on something here on the model. And I show you how to place it like this in a space so uh, you can add all of these. The reason for this is this is basically part of regulation in many countries to have your uh, spot elevations that look like this. So that's why I'm showing you how to m completely modify this family to fit this. And it's working perfectly. No modifications are needed later on. You just click, 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 and you have all of your spot elevations. Also, I show you how to add all necessary information using tags and texts. So, for example, here we have uh, this uh, lovely little uh, dot and here we have a leader that goes to text where we have the information about this. Here we have information about this beam, also about this beam over here. Here we have some material information. So, I show you how to add all of this uh, important information into the model. Same thing goes over here. Also, I show you how to add these little slope arrows and also how to change the units and how to adapt all of this uh, to your uh, projects or country's regulations. Also, I show you how to do annotation for the stair, like uh, marking all of the risers and also how to add this nice tag that's uh, basically tagging the whole run. We have here the number of steps and the dimensions of each step. And then, of course, finally, we go into regular dimensions and and I not only show you how to place regular dimensions, but what's maybe the best approach to do this most efficiently and also how to make it look nice in areas like this where you have so many elements. So uh, that's what we're doing here as far as the section is concerned. And once I've finalized the, the section, I just started just a little bit doing the exterior. As you can see over here, we have a few more elements here in the exterior. We've added a new street level. And when we go into 3D, it looks like this. 
and maybe in the one of the up and coming courses well of course we're going to be finishing off the whole exterior and just uh, completing the whole model okay so that's what this week's course is all about uh, I think it's interesting I think I've went in depth about all of these annotation topics uh, in last week's course as well as this week's course uh, where I show you both for the floor plan and in this week's course for the section how to annotate everything and all of those little families that you have to modify and set up to fit your uh, needs, fit the aesthetic and fit the regulation that's necessary for your area so or for your code. So that's what uh, this course is all about. So if again, if as I said, if you want to access these courses, first link in the description takes you to my Patreon. There you can get access to all of these. Also, you can get access to all of my Revit project files and if you want I have even Revit tutoring so one-on-one -on -one we can talk over Skype and TeamViewer and I can help you solve your individual Revit problems. Okay so that's pretty much it for this quick little announcement and I'll be back with another Balkan Architect Revit tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.